if I'm feeling great and Mike isn't having a good day, then I will notice that and not have a, not have a good time myself generally or be frustrated because it's so much about communication. Everybody has to be for it, I think, for it to be really. It's a challenge to like not bring your, you know, if you're having a bad day. It's like, I, I guess any professional has to deal with if you're not having a good day, like not the effort of not, not bringing your, your shit to work, you know, trying to, that's, I, I think being a musician is really a great job for that too. I mean, because it's like so clearly that, you know, whatever's happening in your personal life, if you go on stage and it's just, you have to just kind of forget about it. You have to get it out of the way and, you know, it's part of what, I mean, I, I think that's a good, it's a good process. I mean, I think a gig, a whole gig and improvising music is kind of more about the process than the end result and, and, and like where you're making an album. Although process is important, you're focusing much more on the end result. You're focusing on like it's good the finish. finished product, you know, what's this ultimately going to be? Whereas with a gig, the whole point is, you know, <clears throat> all these personal things, like how can we go out and get out of the way of our good or bad days and, you know, and how can we open up to the audience and to each other and communicate and get conversation going and, <clears throat> and create an environment where something magical or interesting musically can happen. We have an audience that comes sort they of want to hear willing that. to put that, give us that patience and the energy to let that develop, you know. They're, they're, it's like, almost like they're coming and saying, okay, you know, we understand, you know, everyone in this room has different kinds of day. I mean, you know, I'm putting words to it, but it's just kind of like, we're, we're willing to like give this the room and, you know, our attention and focus and, and energy, you know, to, 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 you know, to give this the room to, to happen, you know, so like, go ahead, you know, have, have your, you know, see, see what you can, you know, have your conversation. Kind of, that's like, so how it feels. And then when we actually do get a really good conversation going, it's sort of like, it feels to me like the whole thing becomes almost more directly open to the audience then too. Like you get to that level and then it's like, yeah, here we are. And then, you know, and then it's sort of like you can look at the audience and be like, you know, yeah, it's almost like, thanks, you know. I think and to them it's like, it's hit that point together collectively is like this really right. affirming mm -hmm. moment. It's like them. the payoff, you know, they were, it was like, you know, starts from a really simple thing that, 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 you know, we always come back to, uh, if I can't understand what you're saying musically, right. then how are they going to understand it? You know, right. I'm a musician and I know you really well. So if you're playing a, a riff that's really fast and complicated and, well, look at me, I'm so good, and I'm right. up there playing and I can't even really grab onto what you're doing, you know, and generally when we do get hooked up, it's simple. It's on a, some very simple level and the levels vary. Sometimes it's, all of us going, you know, and, and sometimes it's boom, dee, boom, boom, dee, boom, dee, boom, but we're hearing each other and listening. And we just kind of see that as I, I do as the first hurdle to get over. And, and then they're going to understand too, you know, you know what I mean? I think we just discovered over time that it's, that we can have a lot of fun, um, jamming and, and, um, that that sort of um, taking risks and and um, seeing where the music can go is is it can be a lot more fun than just standing on stage and playing being, what they heard on the album or, or even well, no, you know? that or even just being you know cool like feeling cool looking or or, or you know hey I'm in a and I'm in a band and I'm on a rock star and you know all this right, stuff. Yeah. A lot of bands probably that's their favorite thing to feel, or, or not a lot, but some, but but definitely some pop musicians, you know, would seem, e ego seem to feeding, have that. Feeding, feeding, feeding ego. Some others, uh, we, uh, like it's a feeding us, frenzy. I think we've just discovered ways that for us we we can have more fun, and, and, and that involves more more of the the letting loose and uh, seeing where it can go.